Good morning, Spartans. More specifically, good morning, ceramic students. This tutorial is going to teach you how to put together your portfolio. Um, I'm doing this so that you will give me a more consistent presentation. And so please make sure you see this, watch this thoroughly, watch it again if you don't understand. Uh, okay, so here we go. First thing you want to do is go to the Ceramics tab. You're going to go down to Portfolio Format. These are the projects that you will be putting in to your portfolio, which you can see the due date. This is uh, the week before finals. Um, we're, we are starting early, but uh, I want you to keep on top of this. Don't wait the night before to do this, otherwise you're going to have some issues. You do need a report folder. And I said here that uh, I want it hole punched, everything hole punched and secure before you bring it to class. I don't, you're not going to have the opportunity to do, to do that during class time when it's due. Okay, so you can turn things in early if you want, but the final day is this, and uh, May 26th. Uh, you bring it in after that, it will count as a late grade. Um, so hopefully you won't, you won't be late. Okay, you do have to have a title page, including your name, the words ceramics portfolio, and then the due date, which is May 26th. You also want a separate page listing the projects. And those projects are as follows. Pinch pot one, pinch pot two, dunk mug, nameplate, whistle, slab box, and coil pot. Uh, each one of these, number four, starting with pinch pot. Uh, and then it says there's a video on how to do that. You're watching it right now. I'm going to show you how to put one such page together. So let's do that right now. You're going to go to your drive, assuming you've already taken a photo and you've shared it to your Google Drive. If you don't know how to do that, please see me. I'm going to go to Recent, and I see my photos right here. And let's see. I'm putting it into the, um, into the uh, grid view, as it says. Um, you will be required to create three views, a front view, a bottom view, and a top view. Now you only need to do that for, uh, the bottom view only needs to be done for the two pinch pots because I want to see how you did with your feet construction. Um, for the other ones, we'll talk about that later as we complete each project. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do the pinch pot. Now I already did one earlier, but I'm going to do the same thing. And this is how it should look. Also, you're going to want to um, print your portfolio in color. If you don't have a color printer, I will accept black and white, but I will give you um, a few points extra credit if you do the whole thing in color. Not just partial. It has to either be fully in color or not. To get it to get extra credit, it has to all be in color. Okay. Um, but again, I will accept black and white. The color just makes it look better. That's why I'm encouraging that, and so you'll be rewarded those extra credit points. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do File New. I'm just going to do this exact same thing. I'm going to go to a document. And let's see. I'm going to call it Pinch Pot 1. Now since I already have a Pinch Pot 1, I'll just call this Pinch Pot number 2. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is give it a title. Pinch Pot 2. Now you can use any font you want. You can use color, you can size it any way you want. I'm just going to show you some real basic stuff. What I'm trying to get you to do is add a table so that um, 
the pictures uh, come in uh, in a more organized fashion. Some people just insert photos, and the photos are just too large. Um, so we're going to insert a table now. Um, so you go up to the Insert menu, go to Table, and what we're going to do is go to a 3 by one Actually, we're going to just do a single cell, and you'll see how we do this. And we're going to insert an image. I'm going to grab from my drive, and let's see, recent. And I'm going to first take the uh, front view, and it's going to be very large, but it's an easy fix. You just go ahead and resize it, and just grab a corner. I'm going to move it in. So I know I can fit two more in here. So the next one, insert image. And I have two views, two front views. And if you have some views that are different, you may want to include it. I'm just going to go ahead and go my do my top view here. And let's see. Let me undo that. I think I um, accidentally erased that. I think I did. So I'll, let me do that again. Insert image, top view. There it is, and then resize it so it fits. There we go. I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm kind of going fast. Just replay it if you need to. And then I uh, made sure to deselect. This is selecting, and I'm going to deselect. And then when I insert the next one, uh, that that other one I won't erase like I did the last time. So I'm going to go ahead and resize this. And if it's not small enough, it won't go in with the uh, other rows. Now you can do Control Z in case uh, you mess up. That just will allow you to undo the, the last mistake. So I'm going to undo that. Control Z. And let's see, I think I'm going to resize this center one. What I'm trying to do is get them sort of uniform in size. Now, there's the space right there, so what I'm going to do is do a center alignment. Looks good. And I'm going to get my cursor to fit below that table, and I'm going to insert another one. And this table will serve as my label. So you got three. And they'll fit nicely right underneath that image. So I'm going to go to front. Now you don't need to put view. We know these are views. So you, you may if you want. I'm just going to put top. And then finally bottom. And then I'm going to center it. All three labels will be centered. And that's it. Pretty much done. Again, you can... Change the font if you don't like the basic uh, Arial font, color if you wish, whatever you want. And that's it. You're going to save it. Um, I might move it to a new folder called, um, let's see, can I make a new folder? This is not a folder. Okay. No, it's not. Well. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, so I'll just call this portfolio. And there we go. And I'll move here. So now I can add my other pictures to that folder. Just makes things easier so that when it's time for you to print, you can do that. And there's your preview. And it looks pretty good. Okay, print this out for a portfolio, and you got a consistent design. Okay, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.